how is it being the only black people in your neighborhood? I'm not gonna lie, it feels like get out. <laughs> Are we gonna get married? Hey Go guys! Yeah. Now you know, this is the Neezy Gang. What's up, Neezy Gang? What up, y'all? How y'all doing? Gang! Gang! All right, Neezy Gang, so we are here with the mukbang in our, man is this a mansion? We need to know, is this considered a mansion? Yes or no? Don't say, well, oh, this person has a mansion, but yours guys isn't, or yours is a mansion and this person's isn't. Just I tell us. I would say this. Is this a mansion? Some of my friends were saying it's a mansion. Really? I remember yeah. your sister said it was a mansion. Yeah. She's but I want to know what the Neezy Gang thinks. I feel like it's, I mean, obviously there's bigger mansions. Right, right. I don't really know what to consider as a mansion. I think to me a mansion is if it's big. Okay. And obviously if it's really nice. Like, okay, it's not on. just a big house. Let it's me a Google big, it. nice house. Big, nice house. Okay, here, let's Google it. What is a mansion? A mansion is a large dwelling house. The word itself derives from the old French, from the Latin word mansion dwelling, an abstract noun. Okay, whatever. So it's, it's a, a big, big house. house. I think this is a mansion. This is a mansion. It's our mansion. It's, our it's mansion. an easy game mansion. Speaking Wait, is of, that what we're I don't think so. Okay. We're still looking for the perfect name for our house. Yeah. So comment below Give so we can names. choose one of the names yeah. and decide what to name this baby. Yeah, okay, so today we're actually doing a mukbang, you know what I'm saying, healthy salads. This is a five minute salad. Mm -hmm. you know Shout out to my mom, first of all. She, just, she actually has a whole tutorial on this on her channel, how to make five a five minute. minute salad. When I tell you though, it's one of the best salads five I've minute. had and it really did just take me like five minutes because yeah. she like prepared it she all. She prepared it all and then you mm -hmm. just throw it all in a bowl and it's like Zee! Damn! So let's get into it. Okay, we got some Olive Garden Italian, Italian dressing and some Hidden Valley Ranch. I actually want the Italian. Easy gang, y'all have some questions for us. You know what I'm saying for our house. Um, y'all want to know certain things. We kind of want to answer them, especially about our house. You know, uh, this is a new adventure. We have never lived with each other. Um, we had our own places, and it just is crazy. Like we're here. Oh. Hello. Easy hates when I do that when I'm eating and then I lean over and kiss her. It's not even that. It's like you can eat and then kiss. She'll go like this. She's in the mid too. And y'all know how Natalie chews. She chews with her food in front of her teeth. No, I so don't. So you'll see the food peeking, seeping through. She's lying on me. I'm not lying, y'all. Y'all know that's how Nat Nat It's eats. on the che my cheeks right now. Who chew? Why would I chew with the front, my front teeth? That doesn't make any sense. It just gets there. No. Why do you, okay, so when you chew it right now, I guarantee you, like the next time she chews, she'll have some dressing already on her lip. That's because of my, my food going oh my past God. my lips to go into my mouth. Whatever. One of the questions is, do you guys like living in your new home? That you go ahead and answer that. Mm. I love living in my new home. Love it. Literally, yeah. like, this place is so, it still feels like a dream. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not settled in yet because we're still unpacking and stuff. As you can see, we don't have a TV. As you can see, we don't even have furniture. Right. But I'm so happy, and I can only imagine how much happier I'm gonna be mm -hmm. once it feels like home and I'm settled in. And yeah, what do you think? Yo, you already know. I came from a back house, you know what I'm saying? My little box, I feel like my house is probably as big as this living room. You know what I'm saying? So it's like immaculate. I love the lighting. Like, I'm all about lighting. I love good lighting. And the fact that all the walls are white, the countertops are white, the cabinets are white, is just gonna look visually pleasing to the see, eye. Y'all see the quality of the videos just went up. Yeah. Like, it's like, whoa. Like, like, before, even in my apartment, we had to put up so much lighting just to film regularly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just, uh, I Even miss during you. the day. Yeah, even during the day, we would honestly just keep lighting up just because it was just, you know, like, mm -hmm. it felt dark all the time. Even though I had recessed lighting, it wasn't mm -hmm. bright. I guess it wasn't the good, good lights. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm, mmm, you're just hitting. Another question. Are you guys getting along now living together? What would you say? You want me to answer first or you want to answer first? 
Oh, you can go ahead first if you want. Okay, I would say living with somebody is totally different. But I feel that like we haven't got that full experience yet. It's only been a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Not even a full couple Not weeks. Not even. Yeah, it hasn't so it's it's, been like a full week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It hasn't been that long. Yeah, it's only been like a couple weeks or probably less than that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we haven't got that full experience. We're still in awe that we actually live together in this beautiful home. So I would say I haven't experienced it, but there's certain things that I would say like, hey, yo, Nat, don't forget to close that cabinet. Y'all know Nat, Nat. Close that cabinet. Or when she puts uh, stuff in the dishwasher, I'm like, yo, you have, to, you have to load them in like this. You know what I'm saying? It's just dishwasher etiquette. I don't like how she loads the dishwasher. How I, I feel like you're supposed to edit. too much stuff in it and then it doesn't get as clean. No, but it's organized. Now, if you know there's a top rack and there's a bottom rack, I put all the big stuff, the plates, the, uh, the bowls, some of the pots, I organize it. Now, we'll put the bowls at the top, the cups at the bottom. Everybody knows. Cups go at the top. Yeah, they but don't. not all the cups fit at the top because it's too like close to the top top of the machine. She so sometimes if you have the tall cups, it's not gonna fit in there. Now we'll have all the glass at the bottom. But either way, as far as like us liking to live it, live with each other, I feel like we've been doing that and I love oh. it. There's nothing that she's done to where it's just like, fuck, like, why did I move in more? But later down the road, let's add to this question again. Yeah, we're we at. definitely will revisit this question, but I feel like everything that, you know, cause she's saying she's been on me, but I've been on her about stuff too. Like, oh, make sure you wash your dish. Don't just put it in there. Or, you know what I'm saying? She has a habit of leaving her socks around and stuff like that, but. A habit? It's not even that long. No, I'm just we saying. Ain't gotta, like, we ain't gonna What I was gonna start is we're what? not really learning anything new. Yeah. about each other. I already knew these things about her. She already knew these things about me because we waited so long and we've dang near lived together mm -hmm. over the past like few years, but we just didn't actually have all of our stuff in one place. And I would say, I think even maybe living in a house together might be helpful because we have gotten on each other's nerves. Make not too much, but we have at certain points of living together so far. But and, but I think having a big house matters because mm -hmm. when we would get on each other's nerves in her house or in my apartment, yeah, bro, I can still hear you talking crap <laughs> when I go into my bedroom to get away from you because it's on the other side of the wall. Here, I can literally go downstairs. Mm -hmm. I can go outside. Mm -hmm. I can. And so I think that's really gonna be helpful. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Trying to kiss me with your mouth full. Oh. I don't care though. The next question is, is it scary living in such a big house? Nah, not for me. I'm not scared. Baby scared, tell them the truth. I would say this. Baby don't First like being alone sometimes. Before I lived, in a big house. I mean, my house in Miami is pretty big. It's just not like modern, but I never was really there by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I was always there with my mom, yeah. my family. So living in a, such a big house like this, where I'm new to the neighborhood, there's only two of us here. And then outside it's pitch black at night if the like surrounding lights aren't on. So it could be a little bit scary. Yeah. And sometimes I'll be like, babe, can you come downstairs with me? I wanted to get some water. <laughs> I have to like kind of get used to that, but I'm sure once I'm here for a while, I'll just feel more confident and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's not like I'm gonna be scared forever. You yeah. feel me? Okay, so this is a question that I feel like left people on edge because of my post. You know what Girl, I'm saying? You left me on edge because of your post. You know what I'm saying? So they wanna know, you guys wanna know this, these, this question specifically. Are we gonna get married? Well, you know, usually it's first comes marriage in the house, in the baby carriage, you know what I'm saying? But in this day and age, you gotta learn and you gotta know if you can live with somebody before you marry them, you know what I'm saying? So At the least order, that's how we feel. Yeah, so the order might be a little different, you know? But uh, I would say, of course, of course oh. I'm gonna marry you, baby. I wanna marry you, you know what I'm saying? And you want everything, oh. just, you know, just not yet. Not yet, we just got the crib together. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's beautiful, you know, probably about a year or two, I don't know. Cause she might, you know. You know. What was this? Yeah. You know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So, First of all, let me just react to your little comment you said. Oh, on Instagram? Tell them, tell them what I'm talking about, baby. 
Well, it was a comment, right? Or it was a tweet? It was a, it was a, the video that I posted, you know, just of our memories. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then the, did you pin the comment or was it a no, caption? No, it was the caption. It was the caption. So in the caption, she basically said how grateful she is to like get a house with the love of her life and all of these really just sweet things. And then at the end, she threw in, y'all know what comes next. I saw this and I was like, what comes next? I almost like, I was shook. I was like, my mouth literally hung open. So how did y'all react? Comment below, cause I mean, you better not be toying with us. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what to expect. I really would be, I know I would be shocked if she proposed to me. Like I would be shocked. It's not that I don't think that we'll ever get married because I feel like, you know, so I could definitely see myself being married to her, but uh, I would be shocked. Cause I know that's not like, she's not in like a rush to do it. You know? Am I? Neither am I. I mean, are you? I don't know. You gonna marry me? <laughs> Damn, not the swerve on the marry question. Wait, I thought you were trying to kiss the side of my face. I was trying to kiss the lips. Oh, kiss the No, I ain't gonna ask know for it now. I ain't Wait. gonna ask you, I ain't getting no ring. Wait, let me just no ring for you. <laughs> this was actually a really good question. So the next question is, how is it being the only black people in your neighborhood? I'm not gonna lie, it feels like get out. <laughs> I'm just joking, says the girl with the white mom. Wow. <laughs> So let me say this, as you guys know, in our process of looking for houses, um, it's been very difficult because we've been very discriminated against, you know what I'm saying, and judged based on my appearance, based on our sexuality, and just based on just the- Our the, ethnicity. Our ethnicity, you know what I'm saying? And so, obviously it wasn't anything that was like super obvious or, I mean, no, it, was it was obvious, obvious as hell. but it wasn't like anyone said anything specifically to us, but. You can just tell when you walk into a nice house and the person is not of a minority ethnicity. Right. And they just, or you can tell when you're being judged and how they're looking at you and like how they just kind of feel like, mm, I don't really care to even go into detail this house because you're not about to get it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Sure. And then we didn't see them treat other people coming in to see the house at the same time like totally different. different. Yeah. So I've been, I, like I said, I've been, I already told you guys this. I've been going through this process for a minute by myself. So do it with Natalie, she didn't really get to experience it. You know, I feel like she just thought it was like my credit or something, you know what I'm saying? But when she got to experience it too, it's like, see what I mean? I'm telling you. And then it's two of us together, and then we And getting denied for no reason and stuff. And I'd be like, yeah. it's so crazy you judging us like this, like. Mm -hmm. So when we got this house, as soon as we pulled up, you could see some of the neighbors. It was like, dang, man, we for sure, are the only black people that's probably about to move in this neighborhood. <laughs> Damn, are we gonna like this house? If we get approved, are we gonna feel safe in this neighborhood? You know what I'm saying? So that was one of our biggest concerns is our neighbors and living in this neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So, and living in the hills, you know? But once we got approved, it was still that worry. And then the first people we meet are next door neighbors. And boy, when I tell you they are so freaking friendly. So nice. It was so nice. You know, so far, so far. They're so freaking nice, so friendly. They have a whole house over there and it's just lit, you know? And then the next people we meet is the next door neighbors after that, the ones that brought us cookies. They were saying, oh, you can play. They have a basketball. Yeah. Um, they're like, oh, you can come and play with a basketball hoop whenever you want. Like, mm -hmm. so nice. And they've also told us about other neighbors that we haven't had the chance to meet yet. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, oh, this is the, you can tell it's just a very, very oriented. family oriented block of people mm -hmm. and they're just very kind and yeah. very welcoming yeah and they uh most of them actually came to introduce themselves yeah. to us which we didn't expect we were planning to do that to them yeah but it was just really really cool and especially being two young black black lesbian women it's yeah. just like you know and these are more conservative looking like like you know people of our I wouldn't say they're older, but they're like, they're they have enough. families and yeah. stuff. Sometimes you could just be like, people will be like, mm -mm. you know what I'm yeah. saying? But we have not experienced that at all. And that has been such a oh blessing. Oh my God, man. And we're just so, we just feel like that we were meant to be here. And we're yeah. very, very excited about that, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. So as a black 
women, you know, I feel super happy living in this neighborhood. I feel safe, I feel comfortable, not just because of this whole security system we got, but because our neighbors do, you know? Just everybody is just loving, so. And they look out for each other, yeah, too. That's just something they were mentioning. They were like, yeah, we really look out for each other, so if you ever have any issues or, you know, whatever, we'll be on the lookout. Like, yeah. I was like, wow, you know? Very cool, and you know, something that I told her to ease her mind a little bit about moving into this neighborhood is she was like, well, it looks like we're gonna be definitely the only black people. And I was like, unfortunately for now, that's the that's the story of how things always are. Mm -hmm. Like, the, we, we haven't got to the level collectively as a race where that's not the norm anymore. And yeah. hopefully- Especially you know, in a nice area like this. Hopefully like, in the coming years, that won't be the case. Hopefully it'll be normal to have multiple black successful people living in a really nice neighborhood but for now it's usually not the case so yeah. i was like you know we're gonna have to get used to that we're yeah. always probably gonna be the minority exactly. in these neighborhoods that we're getting you know climbing to so i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you no, 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 best no, no. friend no for real no, no. for real best, best friend. friend i'm proud of you like <laughs> I'm really looking at you like how I used to look at you when we were just best friends. And I'm like, yo, Jeez. that's my best friend. That's my best friend. Like, what? How did we, how did we get here? What? How hard is the game? Oh, what were we gonna say? I was just saying, you guys saw us go through so many transitions. So I'm just so happy that like we can experience this together and you guys can really say you're our day ones. Day like, ones. Day ones is day one. You know, these again, we love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. The salad was delicious. Maybe you guys should go make you a five minute salad. We out, gang gang.